Welcome to the Wide Orbit Automation for Radio overview of the Audio Editor widget. The Audio Editor widget is represented in the widget bar at the bottom of the Wide Orbit screen by a red icon with a white musical note and a speaker on it, and the label Audio Editor. If accessing the widget using the icon, the Audio Editor will typically be empty unless you have previously selected an item from the Library widget to edit. Otherwise, click the New button and a pop-up menu appears with three choices. Audio, Multi-Station Media Asset, and Rotator. Selecting Audio opens the Audio Editor widget to a blank file to create a new media asset in the Wide Orbit system. Select Multi-Station Asset to create a multi-station media asset for use with a leader follower system. And select Rotator to create a single asset ID which refers to a list of existing assets in your Wide Orbit system. Each time the Rotator is played, the next available playable audio file inside the rotation table will play. When the audio editor widget loads to record or edit, the title bar at the top of the widget displays the media asset ID of the currently loaded media asset. When creating a new media asset, the title bar will display Editing Media Asset, Default, and four question marks until the new media asset has been saved with a valid ID. Under the title bar is the timer displaying the recording or playback time. To the right of the timer are the level meters which display the recording or playback audio levels. Next to the level meters are the control buttons. Play Chase Off On toggles the ability to edit a media asset while it is still being recorded. Arm Record prepares Audio Editor to begin recording based on the configured audio volume threshold. Record Now immediately begins recording new audio. Preview begins playback of existing audio. And Stop halts recording or playback, returning the timeline slider to its previous position. Below the control buttons is the fuel bar, which represents the entire length of the media asset. When editing a pre-existing asset, if set, the beginning blue section indicates the configured intro time of the media asset. The white section at the end indicates the configured EOM marker. The red arrow cursor shows the current position in the media asset. Beneath the control area is the metadata area. By default, this is displayed in a tabbed format, but can be configured to display in a scrolling all-in-one view. The Properties tab, by default, displays the title, artist, note, year, and gain settings for the asset being edited. The screen can also display any custom fields that have been configured in your system. At the bottom of the Properties tab, the Created Date and Time and Last Modified Date and Time are displayed. The Timers tab allows you to set the three main cue points of the media asset being edited by using the plus or minus buttons to move the desired marker in one hundredth of a second at a time. The cue in sets the point where the audio playback will begin. The intro length sets the marker on the audio file for the vocal or instrumental post. The EOM marks the point where the system will seg into the next event in the stack widget. The Jump to EOM minus 5 seconds sets the red cursor to 5 seconds just before the currently set EOM. The Set QN and EOM Automatically button 
sets these two markers based on the configuration settings of the Audio Editor widget. The Restrictions tab allows you to set start and end dates and times for the media asset. The Edit Hourly Restrictions button lets you set allowable hourly day parts. The Distribution tab controls properties related to the category and media asset ID of the file. Under the Tools tab, you can use the Waveform Editor to perform basic edits on the file, import audio into this media asset from a saved audio file on your workstation or network, and normalize the audio to a target level. In the bottom right-hand corner are the Save and Revert buttons. Revert returns the media asset back to its original settings and keeps the asset open in the Audio Editor widget. Pressing Save keeps all changes, saving the edited or new media asset to the database, and exits the Audio Editor widget. We hope you enjoyed this overview of the Audio Editor widget for Wide Orbit Automation for Radio. If you have any suggestions, questions, or comments, please email us at afrvideos at wideorbit.com.